it is lonely. I figured, well, I had time before we went to visit him. I'd do a little laundry. And I got down to the third step when the phone rang. But somehow, even before I picked it up, I knew the news was bad, and it was. We actually got married in 1981, but we moved in here in 1974. Just everything he did, it it made the day, you know. Even birthdays sometimes he would surprise me. The one year he bought me the hugest strawberries I ever saw. A couple of years before he passed away, we'd sit on the couch. We had a reclining couch at that time. We'd sit on the couch and he'd hold my hand. My husband died in 2004, and I've been out of work now for eight years. When they made the phone call early in that morning, it just it changed everything. And at the beginning, everybody would call in afterwards and say, well, how are you? I didn't know how I was. It's tough. I, I'm, I'm doing it by the skin of my teeth right now. And my food stamps doesn't really cover enough it just is not enough. I mean, it's a help. And I've been told it's just a help. It's to get you a little further along. Well, it doesn't do that. I'm struggling because right now I've got repairs that need to be done on the house. I don't have the money for the repairs. The front railing going down my steps is bad top and bottom. And over here on the side, right at the bottom, there's that much space opened even if I look on the other two sides everything's rusted at the bottom and the second concern is my coal cellar because of the mold I don't like it it's green and black in there now it could make me sick and lately I don't know what it is but there are times through the course of my day I don't feel right my husband said to me when I die sell the house and at this point I understand why he said that because it has become very tedious to pay the bills and mow the grass do the hedge but sometimes the hedge mowing and the or the hedge trimming and the grass mowing is therapeutic and I think if I would move it might be kind of traumatic at this point I've been in this house 41 years and one of these days I probably will have to move but with the loan I have on the house, I don't think it'll sell. I'm here. 